Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for the Festival of Cinema NYC Virtual Filmmaker Interviews. I'm Stephen S. Miller, cabaret star, and I'm being joined by my fabulous co-host, Bonnie Rose, star of film and television. Today, we are being joined by Jorge Muriel, director of the film, The Boy Who Wanted to Fly, playing on Saturday, October 3rd at 10 p.m. Welcome to the show. Hi, Jorge. Can you tell us a little bit about your film? Yes, uh, well, it's a pleasure to be with both of you. And um, my, my film is very special for me because it's the, it's the story of the five years kid, five years old kid in the 80s in Madrid. And it's, it's not my personal life, but I feel the story really close to me. So um, it's the story of, um, of it's life through the, through the through the eyes of a kid and their relationship with um, their parents. What was the inspiration for you to make this, this film, this um, very touching and very poignant film, and to do it now? Um, um, to be really honest, like with this film, I, I finished like a trilogy um, about life. Um, and the first one was life through the eyes of an old woman. And then the second one was like um, life through a community of, of people who were living together in the same building. Um, to put an end to the, um, to the story, I wanted to show life through the eyes of a kid. And um, I always loved to write. So um, um, when I was a kid, I wrote um, a short story. When I was around 12 years old, and the name of the story was The Boy Who Wanted to Fly. Mm -hmm. So it was a surprise for me to find that story. And that was the beginning of the, um, of the script. How wonderful and how so personal for you. How long did it take you to film this, this piece? Uh, yeah, we, um, we, um, we filmed it in seven days because we were working with the kid and he was five years old at that time. So we have to... Um, work a specific hours a day, um, but I have I have been working a lot in that field. Like for two years, I was working on the script um, because at the beginning I wanted to 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 tell my life, but then I realized that my life was not so interest <laughs> to do the film. So it was beautiful to um, take personal stuff and then with my imagination create a, um, another, um, like a fairy tale. I think for me, the, the, the short film is a fairy tale about the waking up of a father to really see who is his kid and um, to appreciate him for the way he is. Well, it, it was, it's very um, touching and very gripping and very, um, like I'm going to say poignant, especially in the, in these times to wake up to um, others' feelings and other point of views. Um, so it, it was um, very, very well done. And um, I think your life is Thank very you. interesting. I think it is very interesting. <laughs> How did you go about getting this made? Uh, the funding, the... Um, yes. Okay. Even, uh, how did you go about getting um, this wonderful child, this actor, who is so wonderful? Thank you. Yeah, um, I, I knew that was very important to find um, a specific kid to do the role. Um, so um, we did. We put an ad in Facebook on Facebook, and um, I asked um, for some um, characteristics, and I said that I need a sensitive kid. Uh, with uh, big eyes and and then people start to wrote to me and um, you know it was beautiful to realize that um, I need I needed a special kid but it was I needed a special parents too so even though I was doing an audition for kids it was very important to find for me parents that were supporting their kids and n not just wanted um, um, sorry, um, what I want to say is, I think uh, parents need to really take care of their kids. I mean, even the story is about that. So in the casting, I realized that some parents really wanted to get the part, 
but they were not really taking care of the kids. So it was beautiful to find a perfect kid with the perfect parents to really tell the story because I, uh, it was important uh, to really play with um, well anyway it was uh it was hard it was hard to find the kid but in um then it was beautiful to to find the perfect kid for the for the role we we have we had a um, an acting coach especially to work with the kids um, um, I wanted to to really um, play with him. The, the the we he was so good because I was playing with him all the time, and of course he didn't hear any of the bad language that we use in the in the short film. Every time I was doing my part because I play the father, um, we were not doing never and um and i know this is a spoiler but there was a moment that he cried in the film and it was beautiful because it was the end of the day and he was really tired and and the mom said um i think you want him to cry so let's just be i mean he, he's very sensitive and he will start to cry when when you will say let's do another take and then uh, we'll do another one and so it was very beautiful and natural the way that he started to cry and 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 um, his mom was there for him. So um, I, I think it was a blessing to have him, really. I, th I think it was too, and it was very in the moment the way you're explaining how um, organic it came about. So that's wonderful. And this was shot, where was this shot again? In Madrid. Um, in Madrid. Yeah, in, um, in, um, in in a neighborhood in the north of Madrid. Um, it's a working neighborhood. And um, it was beautiful because I was born in that neighborhood and uh, uh, we, we, we used the, the school I used to go. We certainly got the, the, um, the flavor of, of Madrid and, and the cinematography was so beautiful. Um, how do you feel about it being seen at, at an American <laughs> drive-in theater in Queens. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so, so excited because um, um, I got a Fulbright scholarship years ago and I was living in New York for two years. So, um, and the second years, the second year I was, um, I, I lived in Queen in Astoria. I was living in Astoria for a year years ago years ago um so it's very very special so i want to say thank you very much to everyone who have made this possible because i know it's a hard year and i know the big effort all of you are doing so thank you so much well thank you so much for this beautiful film and um for being with us today and taking the time and um, we really look forward to seeing it up on the big screen and take it back to you, Stephen. Yes, thank, thank you. you so, thank you so much for joining us today and best of luck with the film and all of your incredible ventures ahead. So we thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure for me. And I also want to thank my wonderful co-host, Bonnie Rose, for always being fabulous. So again, thank you, and we'll see you soon. See you at the drive-in. Drive